Well, Hogs, I mean, the question on a lot of people's lips, and when we announced that, um, that, that you and your lovely wife, Kate, were expecting twins, everyone in the country thought, well, this is going to fire that imagination of Hogs' up into developing some of the greatest ever double baby inventions <laughs> we've ever seen. Now, they're just fresh to the world, but have you been inspired, Hogs? Oh, there's, there's a full, there's a list of them. I right. to make a, make a new Excel document just for the twin. <laughs> twins. Twins Ide- ideas. Ideas 2.0. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Hogs. Um, everyone is listening now. Thirteen ten sixty. You can only call up if you're willing to invest money, mm-hmm. uh, so we can get one off the ground. Uh, obviously, you're allowed to ask a question of the inventor as a shareholder, as a prospective um, shareholder. You yeah. are allowed to question. Hogs. Yeah. There's many people uh, wondering uh, of the many ideas. Which one have you chosen today? Well, as, as we discuss, it's very one of the hard things. Is you know. It's, to pushing out two. Mm. Um, you found that difficult, that... did you? <laughs> <laughs> I reckon it's more difficult for the guy. Oh, oh come it's, on. Mate, it's a big call. <laughs> it's a... <laughs> uh, uh, what they're, grounds? They've got pain. They've got pain relief. Yeah, what, I don't. What, yeah, what, 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 but you don't have any pain. <laughs> <laughs> you, uh, you did talk about this, Mick. When you say that, you said mentally you, you were finding you're, it a bit difficult and you were a little bit panicked. Oh, very. Yeah, you okay. know, Kate's fine. She's as high as a kite. Yeah. <laughs> She's and, not in earshot, is she? <laughs> I don't know a lot about girls, but I do know that's the one area you don't really try and make comparisons with. But okay, so you're, you were having a tough time in there. Hmm. Yeah, a tough time. Um, and so it's just it's doubly as tough with twins. Like, you just times everything by two. Yeah. So what we could... My, the invention that I've come up with, it's more of a, a painting. So if we can paint in this before anyone does anything about it, but if we like it. But um, what you what you could do to, to have one pregnancy, you could almost go in there before, like a week beforehand. Yeah. You know, doctors do amazing things. Yeah. Even tie the ankles to the, the arms. Sorry, right? of, the, of the mother or of the baby? The, to the babies. Yeah. <laughs> so, but, you know, twin two, tie the ankles to the arms, and then so when he comes out... We're not, we're not going through, you know, twice as much pain. Yeah. They straight start, out. They start together. <laughs> so you're saying Siamese up the babies yeah. at, just with a bit of rope, and then when they come out, you undo them. Yeah. That's, Thirteen that's in, much in, in, in your gynecological opinion, Hawkins, would that make for an easier birth? Yes, definitely. I mean... Isn't that just like a, a long six-kilogram baby rather than two babies... <laughs> Up no, into... it's, all, it's all about the width. It's not about the uh, the length. It's, a, it's an interesting call. Thirteen ten sixty. I'd love baby coupling. I'd love twin I'd, coupling. I'd, is is I'd there a name call just to call in? Oh yeah. What's the name of the Peyton Hawks? Well, that's I'm going to let you know after the break. <laughs> Jeez, he's got good at radio. <laughs> Amazing. Can you quickly sum up the the procedure you think uh, it would be worth patenting? Oh, the um, the guys have to go through two uh, pushes to get the. Uh, the baby out, the yeah. babies out for twins, and if we can just tie the uh, the top baby's ankles to the bottom baby's uh, um, um, hands, yeah, the hands, yeah. Then as soon as the uh, the first one comes out, yeah, and drag the other one. The, the second one's got no option. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. Right. So he drags the other one out yeah. with it. Uh, it uh, a can mini, I a mini shoulder? Can ride. I suggest that there is one option, which is they just get stuck halfway. Like one, the well, babies... no, once, once the head's out. Um... Yeah, but you're asking the weight of one baby to pull the whole weight of another baby out, aren't you? No, well... no, no, as soon as it's out, the doctor's just grabbed a hold of the first one. Come on, mate. Get the second. Pull out. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, okay. Anne, okay. Anne on 13, 10, 60, uh, we're going to find out whether Anne's willing to invest. Anne, um, what's, what's your thoughts on the matter? I've had two sets of twins, one natural and one cesarean. Oh, okay. yeah. Would you have liked this option? No. <laughs> they're not, they're oh, you, oh, you not, like pain, do you? <laughs> hang on, hang on, hang on. Now, 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 now listen, guys, you know, to, to give birth to natural a natural baby, it's a part of, it's a part of um, giving birth, right? Mm, mm. But to pull them out with a piece of string, no way. Well, it's, not the, it's, only, it's only the second one that's string. 
Uh, no. it's, not, it's not fishing horns. Yeah. <laughs> no, but you've got to remember, though, once the first twin's out, that second baby's got a lot of room to move around. Yeah, well, not anymore. They're tied to the other one. <laughs> no, 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 no. See, that, that's cool. That's cruelty. Okay, cruelty. cruelty. Uh, that's a cruelty. cruelty. Horns. Okay. Now, horns. They're, they're, little, they're little human beings. They're not flipping animals. Uh, oh, well, hang on a minute. You put vacuums on them to suck them out. I mean... <laughs> That's true, and But yeah, what happens if they go, like, one of my little boys went into fetal beast rest, so they had to, to get the suction cap out on him, but pulling him out by the ankle. But the, oh, I'd uh, prefer to be pulled out just a little, little nudge on the ankle than right. just suck him on the head. I think he's got a point. Uh, well, I, does he, I mean, we've got, a, we've got an interesting sales tactic here. I don't think we can argue our way into <laughs> having ladies choose to do this. Nathan, your thoughts on the matter? But okay. I think if I'm going in the week before for surgery, why wouldn't I just go in once and get them to take them out in the first place? Mm. Yeah, this is such that, an amazing situation. Yeah. We've got four <laughs> blokes <laughs> discussing the miracle of birth of twins, a so, little bit like it's a, like it's getting a car uh, fixed. Yeah, Hogs, I suppose that's an interesting point mm. that Nathan's made. Um, we don't want to get. Why, why not just cut them out? Yeah, we don't want to get too physical on it. But it was uh, how was the the original tying done? Is that through the stomach or is that mm. um, obviously? Uh, do we in... know, do we have any clues as to how the, the tethering, the twin yeah. tethering? Oh, well, they can. You know how doctors these days go up the groin. Yep. They can do all sorts of things. Go into the heart, brain. Yep. Just go into the stomach. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Would, Nathan... would would you be the surgeon that instructs them on this? Horse? So Nathan, there is no real surgery uh, as such. It's more just a procedure. Yeah, it would, yeah. Just, it would be interrupting my day. You know, it just would be an inconvenience to go in there twice. Are you speaking okay. as a pregnant lady here? <laughs> yeah, as a pregnant lady. As a pregnant lady, yeah. be an interruption. I, Nathan, I, I'm not sure whether <laughs> girls view it as a real nuisance to have something help their I just, birth. I just, I'm trying to visualise here, Hogs, the surgery room, the, the room where the, the doctor comes back and goes, good news, they're all tied up. A couple, <laughs> your babies are tied together, and so we'll yeah. see you in a week. 13, Hogs, 13, 10, 60. No one's come up with a good enough reason as to why not, except for obviously being scared or whether it can work or not. I just love to, to hear from an actual surgeon, a yep. gynecologist. Yep. So uh, please only call in if you're one of those. And Hogs, uh, do we have a name, though? Yeah. We might spy him with a catchy name. Oh, yeah, sorry. I, I just didn't want to say it before because I was just getting onto the Peyton guys. Yeah. Uh, 1P, 2P. One one P two P. What does it stand for? What do you think? One, one, one prisoner, P? two prisoner, because they're tied together. <laughs> one push, two people. Oh. <laughs> no one really came up with a good enough reason why it wouldn't it work. Feels like the kind of thing that shouldn't happen. It feels like we're flying in the face of uh, evolution. But Amy, Amy. On thirteen ten uh, sixty. Amy, what's your role? Oh, hi, I'm a midwife. Okay. Okay. I feel like we're about to get a very learned view here as to why this thing that feels intrinsically uh, like it might not be a good idea, why exactly it may or may not be a a good idea. Would it work, Amy? Uh, No, it wouldn't work. Um, But as Hogs' wife can probably tell him, the most difficult part of giving birth to a baby is pushing the head out. Mm -hmm. Yep. Um, And if he's just gone and uh, increased the the size of the head, if you like, by two arm widths, Mm -hmm. it's just not going to fit out. Oh, right, yeah, because the little baby would have to have its arms up over its head. Like, Above in the, its head. In the I surrender pose. Yeah, yeah like six, right. singling a six. Yeah, to be, to be, <laughs> to be tied to the ankles. Of the, other. So, the, the ankle baby's having the real fun. I mean, it can choose to put its arms up if it wants, like you're going on a roller coaster. <laughs> so, sure. Amy, is it physical, almost physically impossible or definitely never the go to be born with uh, kids uh, singling a six? Oh, it just, it just wouldn't fit. Yep, okay. understand that. Amy, yeah. what about a quick out? I mean, Hogs has gone back. He's looking after the kids now, so he can't be on the phone. But um, if we somehow were able to safely connect the heads together. Oh, go for it. Is that the right thing to say? <laughs> I, don't, I don't think so, but if you can figure out a safe way to do it, then I'd say go for it. At the moment, but, but nature can, can still baby, seems to be winning. Can a baby this... come out feet first? It can. Um, it can come out backside first. Okay, so backside first. If we could connect yeah, the, the heads, heads together, together somehow. Um, it, 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 that would be one push two people. Or connect the ankles yeah, together. Yeah, as, as long as as long as the arms went above the head, you'd be fine. Well, still, it's it's still, still, I mean, it's, I mean, Hogs is still more than welcome to go and patent this. I don't know how many girls will opt for this this, no. this method. <laughs> Thank you very much, Amy, for your learned view. I mean, it's bloody catchy, you know, and I can see people reading the pamphlet at the OBGYN going, "One push two people." I'm interested. Hey, Mr. Andy.